Good evening, and welcome to our Wednesday edition of 60 Minutes. Tonight we bring you the stories of a large vermin, a three-legged cat, and a man who is stuck in his chair for the rest of his life. Through these stories, we hope to answer the question, how does economics affect one's life? But first, the story of Gregor Samsa. One day, he was a traveling salesman. The next day, he was a giant insect. This is Gregor Samsa, a mild-mannered, well, bug. Hey, Gregor, how's it going? Hey, how you doing? Living with his parents and his sister, Gregor has had his life destroyed and turned upside down, all because of one incident. At this moment, we are traveling to Gregor Samsa's den. I don't know what to expect. I don't know if it's going to be clean or dirty, if there's going to be bug droppings everywhere. We'll just have to wait and see. Gregor! Gregor! Right. Ah! Ah! Yeah, come sit down. Oh. Oh. You couldn't imagine how difficult it is being a bug. I mean, just yesterday, I couldn't even get out of bed. was hard. What other problems have you encountered after your transformation? Well... It's been tough, uh, being a bug and all, you know, it, it ruined my entire life. I, I've been thinking, uh, what am I supposed to do now, you know? Have you tried to go back to work? Of course I've been trying to get back to work, but, uh, my whole family's in debt, you know, so, but it di didn't work out that well. We actually have footage of Gregor working. Let's roll tape. Wanna buy some stuff? Hold on one second. Son, give me my shotgun, boy. Run! Run! Keep going! We're now gonna interview Gregor's manager. I think that's him right now. Come on, let's go. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Wait, wait, wait. wait. I just have to ask you a question, sir. Are you Gregor's manager? Are you Gregor's manager? Yes. What's this all about? What? Wait, we just what, want to ask you a few questions, for? sir. Now that we've gotten everything settled down, uh, I'd like to ask you, how was Gregor as an employee of your company, sir? Well, he was he was a good guy, Gregor. He was he was quite the employee. He was never late, had perfect attendance. He was quite the yeah! employee. Yeah! Me selling with you! That's a So anyway, say, please continue. Oh, yes, well, uh, Gregor was about to be the employee of the month to that fateful day. How, uh, what exactly led you up to firing him? Well, uh, Gregor was late one day. We did not know why. But beforehand, he had been uh, stealing company money and spending it on pleasure. Is that so? Yes, my company informant stole me that. And what was your initial reaction when you first faced 
McGregor in his new form, so to say. I was scared. I did not know what to think. I mean, here, here was Gregor, a, a bug. Well, we actually have footage of that. Roll the tape. Samson, how are you? Good. Greg, 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 show for work. Is uh, there a problem? Greg has been in his room all day. I'm not sure what's wrong with him. Hopefully, he can help us uh, get him out. Hopefully. Gregor. Gregor, are you in there? Why is it that you didn't show up for work today? We need you at the company. Gregor? Gregor. Gregor, now stop this nonsense. interview Mr. Samsa, Gregor's father. Mr. Samsa, what is it like having a son that's a bug? Well, you know, it's been a big strain on everyone. Uh, just, just, just look at him. Hey! Anyway, I've tried to bond with him and everything, but, you know, having a bug as a son is kind of hard. Uh, here, I think you have a clip. Or yeah, let's throw that tape for the audience. Oh. All right, Gregor, ready? Yeah! What was that? I, I'm sorry! I, I tried! Useless man. Alright, ready? One more time. Ready? Come on. Ah! Ah! God, you can't do anything, can you? I love you, Pa! Oh. Mr. Samson, what was the role of Gregor, you know, before he turned into a bug in your family? Well, once my business failed, Gregor became the main provider of the family. <laughs> 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 oh, <so funny. laughs> He's just <laughs> Turn it off! <laughs> Oh, let me get this back. The red button. I give it to me. No, I got it. Oh, yeah, let her film. Let her take it. Let her just wind to the beginning and we start recording. I'm not. You're still recording. I'm not. Yeah, you are. Are you idiots? Are you idiots? It's a game of the thing. Oh, you have. Sorry, dude. Well, how's this happen? What are you doing? I don't want to go to Jerome. Jerome, all right. You go right. No. We'll go. Mr. Samson, what was the role of Gregor and your family before he turned into a bug? Well, um, once my business failed, you know, Gregor... I had to become the main provider of the family, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, how, how did your business fail, and how exactly did your family go into debt? When I was younger, I made some bad uh, transactions, et cetera, and I, uh, I borrowed from Gregor's pre previous manager. <laughs> oh, gosh, that's so funny. Nothing's funny. I saw you do something in the back of the The wife all these leaves off the table. You just put them on me. <laughs> You're like a garbage can. I'm going to cry. <laughs> Give it to me, I'm like... Like, turn off. I didn't do... Goodbye. Bye. That's a dead end, you know. Come yeah, on. well, we'll see. We'll follow you. It's a circle, isn't it? No, do not... <laughs> oh, my... Mr. Samson, what role did Gregor play in your family before, you know, he turned into a bug? Well, after my business failed, um... <laughs> he started laughing. He, he started laughing. He saw him out of the corner, like, right, I, I tried to, like, hold it in. I'm like... I heard the laugh, and I saw you, like... And you try to gain control, and then I hear he's over there. Mike. You can only just imagine me. <laughs> Stop Lither. recording, man. Mr. Samson, what role did... <laughs> Mr. Samson. <laughs> I didn't laugh this time. You are so gay. Go. Mr. Samson, what was... <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Samson, what role did you play is... Uh... Oh, my God. All right. Mr. Samsa, what role did Gregor play in the family before he turned into a bug? Well, uh, after my business failed, we had a... Uh, I had a... I forgot! <laughs> Turn it off! Mr. Samsa, what role did Gregor play in your family before the transact... Tran... Tran... Mr. Samsa, what role did Gregor play in your family before he transformed into a bug? Well, after my business failed, Gregor had to become the main provider of my family. And how did your family go into debt, and how did you lose your company? Well, uh... Yeah, you should talk to my financial advisor about that. Yes. Well, Mr. Samson over here made some really bad decisions. And really bad transactions. I mean, they were horrible. And as a result, his family went into debt. And so Gregor had to become the main provider for the family. So to get a chance. 
job. It's plain and simple. Thank you for your time. Good advice. No Let's go back. We are now going to interview Mr. Samsa, Gregor's father. Mr. Samsa, tell me a little about yourself. <laughs> Stop. We are now going to interview. Me. We are now going to interview Gregor's father, Mr. Samsa. Mr. Samsa, tell me a little about yourself. Well, you know, I consider myself to be a hardworking man. You know, I'm definitely a family man. I try to, you know, over the years, you know, show my family love, etc. I think, I think my life has been a success. Gregor, can you tell me a little about your father? Yes, he is a bum, a low-life scum. I never want to talk to him again. Let me tell you why. At three years old, he left me and then came back when I was four. He then left me again and came back when I was five, but he brought along a woman named Bob, who I now refer to as Mother. <laughs> He's practically starving himself. You know, I've also... How would you characterize your treatment of Gregor? Well, you know, I consider it to be pretty fair, considering he's a giant bug and all. Uh, it's, it's not like I've been trying to bomb the kid, you know, or anything like that. We're on tape. <laughs> bonding? Huh. What does bonding mean again? <laughs> bonding. Look, I'm talking. Let's roll the clip. Oh my god. So I understand you had a bit. <laughs> he's there! So I understand you had a <laughs> So I understand. So I understand you have a bus. You had a business, Miss. Ah. So I understand you had a business, Mr. Samsa. Is this true? Yes, it is true. And what happened with the business? Well, it fell. <laughs> yeah, but you know. So I understand you had a business. So I understand you had a business, Mr. Samsa. So I understand you had a business, Mr. Samsa. Is this true? Yes, it is true. And what? <laughs> 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 I can see you out of the corner of my eye. <laughs> Jason. Okay. <laughs> Turn it off. So I understand you had a business, Mr. Samson. <laughs> so I understand you had a business, Mr. Samson. Is this true? Yes, it is true. And what happened with the business? All well, fell. Can you expand upon that? Well, uh, we made some bad uh, transitions. <laughs> bad transitions. <laughs> transitions. Turn it off. <laughs> So I understand you had a business, Mr. Samson. Is this true? Yes, it is true. And what happened with the business? I fell. Can you explain upon that? Well, we made some bad uh, business transactions, and I ended up having to borrow money from Gregor's former manager. And then my family became in debt, so, yeah. And what happened after that? Well, Gregor then had to work for him for the next, like, five years. So, was, uh... so basically, he became the provider for the family? <laughs> yes, pretty much. <laughs> Stupid ass! So, so what are you going to do now for money, since Gregor's a boat? Well, now I'm going to have to go out and get a job. And how do you feel about all this? Well, I'm not really looking forward to this since I haven't been working for like the past five years. Or yeah. Can you make a general statement about your family's present financial situation? Well, uh, we do have some money saved up for emergencies, but um, for money for everyday use, we don't really have it. And so what are you going to do about that? <laughs> well, we're going to have to go out and get jobs. So what are you going to do now for money? <laughs> <laughs> so, Mr. Samsa, what are you going to do now for money since Gregor's above. Well, I'm gonna have to go out and get a job now. And how do you feel about all this? Well, I'm not really looking forward to it since I haven't been working for like the past 10 years. <laughs> I'm, I'm so, Mr. Samsa, what are you gonna do for money since Gregor's above? Well, now I'm gonna have to go out and get a job. And how do you feel about all this? I'm not really looking forward to it since I haven't had to work for like the past 10 years. Can you make a general statement about your family's present financial situation? Well, we have some money saved up for emergencies, but um, as of right now, we don't have any money for everyday use. And do your other family me members plan to get jobs? I believe so. Um, my wife is cleaning clothes right now, and my daughter is working at a deli. And are you going to do anything else? Uh, I don't really know. I'm going to do it myself. And do you want to make any closing remarks? No, not really. I... Okay, then. Uh, thanks for your time, and... Uh... Yeah. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> we will now continue with Gregor's interview. So, Gregor, what was your role in the family before you became a book? Well, I was a bread maker. <laughs> we will now continue our interview with Gregor. So, Gregor, what was your role in the family before you became a book? Well, I guess you could say that uh, I brought home the bacon. I see. 
And what has happened to your family now since you're a bug? Well, let's just say uh, things got a little unstable, you know, with the money problems and everything. If there was a line to define the stabilism in my home, it would be like this. And what has influenced this? Mostly the money. The moolah. Have you realized anything now that you become a bug? Uh, yes, I have actually. That the world revolves all around money. Do you have any closing remarks? I actually do. I'd like to recite a line in the greatest book, The Man in the Iron Mask by Alexandre Dumas. The quote reads on page 154. Really? Let us go at once. Now, this quote means so many things I cannot even start to tell you. <laughs> what it means? Mike, man. Keep going, man. We will now continue our interview with Gregor. So, Gregor. What was your role in the family before you became a bug? Oh, I brought home the bacon. I see. And what has happened to your family now that you're a bug? Well, uh, they've been having some issues, some problems here and there. Can you describe this? I would have to say the money loss. No money. And they have no stabilization. They're totally whacked. I, if I had to define the line of stabilization in my home, it would be like this. And what has influenced this? Money. The moolah. Mostly moolah. <laughs> uh, have you realized anything now that you're a book? <laughs> yes. I have realized many things. Mostly that the world revolves around money. Do you have any closing remarks? I do. I'd like to recite a quote. <laughs> Can someone answer that? A quote from the man in the iron mask by Alan Dre Dumas. <laughs> the quote reads on page 112. That is where my secret begins, and I shall share it with you. I can go on and on and on about this quote, but I'm not. I'm just going to tell you this. You can Hold on, I will, I will break this shit. Let me see, for a second. One second, one second. Bitch. Dude, don't start touching buttons, all right? We can record. As we can see from Gregor's touching and heartwarming story, money is a very powerful and influential force. As a result of Gregor's inability to work, his whole family was affected. They all had to get jobs and had to invite three lodges into their home. The transformation from human to bug also widened the gap between father and son. Gregor's inability, inability to produce income for his family was the catalyst for the psychological and emotional breakdown of his family. As it once was said, Money is the root of all evil, and as a result, money binds us all physically, mentally, and emotionally. Gregor will just have to live his life one day at a time. Whoa, I can ride one day a bike! Hey, you okay, neighbor? <laughs> Catalyst for the psych And now the man behind the mask, Adam Zweig. And now some... Video. Yeah, outtakes. Yeah, it's really. I'm a bug. Oh. 
Is that alright? Uh, Please don't laugh at you. me. Hello. What's your How name? You <laughs> What's your name? I'm Gregor. Okay, cool. Bye bye. Bye. Nice meeting you. Love you too. Hmm. <laughs> I'm enjoying this. Hello. How are you today? Good? Hello. I'd like to buy some skittles. Give him a dollar. Thank you so much. Now I can eat my skittles. Have a nice day. Have a nice day. Have a nice day. Oh hey, my you God! Hello, man! <laughs> I haven't seen you in a while! What are you off to? I'm, I'm going home, man. I got my Skittles. I'm out of here. I got my Skittles. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. Hello, oh, to you. Hello, my baby. Goodbye. Oh. Goodbye, man. Don't say bye, man. Hey. Hello, sir. I got my Skittles. They're good. Yeah. Very good. Hey, go to the 7-Eleven. I'll make a call for it. Oh, nice. <laughs> I got my Skittles. I'm happy now. What? Ah, the public library, where I may read good books. How you doing? Start over, start over. Ah, the public library where I may read good books. Disgusting behavior. Don't you realize you're in a library? I, I, I'm just a book. Kids always making noise. I, I'm sorry. I, I'm here to read, just like you. Oh. Hope this doesn't show up on the local cable channel. But they do that. Damn school, right? Hello. Um, I'm Gregor. And Chris is the one you want to yeah. talk to. Okay, oh, right. Good picture. <laughs> Hello. Are you Chris? Yes. Um, I like a book on insects or bugs. Okay, I can send you a little bit. All right, great. Thank you. Insects, bugs, yeah, anything like that. This is the section where you find books on bugs. The mm -hmm. number is 595.7. Oh, that's perfect. Have this really cool book here. Bugs. Um, and there will be more down here. There's butterflies. There's. Uh, I'm sure this insects. book will be just fine. That's all you need. This is great. Okay, let's know if you need any more. All right, thank you so You're much. Welcome. Got my reading material. Oh, look at those wings. Oh, look at that stinger. This bee can sting me any day he wants. Oh, oh, that is so hot. What the... 